Hello everyone, it's Hindash and this is Timmy. Welcome back to my channel. The year is ending and we have a New Year's Eve look, so I'm really, really excited. How cute is Timmy's surfer hair? It's gotten so long, I'm getting him groomed tomorrow. <laughs> Timmy, why are you so cute? What is his face? Okay, so for today's look, I did a New Year's Eve look and I'm gonna put it over here. <laughs> And I don't know about you, but when I think of New Year's Eve, I think of silver, I think of fireworks. I don't know why I think of silver and I don't really think of gold. Gold is more for Christmas and silver is for New Year's in my head. <laughs> but I didn't want to go completely silver. So as a twist, I decided to do it an all matte look pretty much. And I wanted to do a lot of grays and those smoke colors, smoky eyes. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a halo moment. It's smoky and I think it looks really, really good. It kind of reminds me of the early 2000s. So if you want to know how to create this look, then please keep watching. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I post all my looks there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and let me know what you think. Leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. All right, so we have the beautiful Rania. And as always, I'm going to be starting off with skincare. And for skincare, I'm going to be starting off with my beloved Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. I think this was definitely one of my most used products in 2019. For serum, I'm going to be using the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. You guys know I love a good hyaluronic acid serum, and I've been trying this out. And I mean, hyaluronic acid is great. It's so simple. It's very gentle on the skin. It just floods your skin with hydration, and it's not heavy. Next, I'm going to be trying the brand new Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. Now, this is targeted more towards normal to dry skin, but I've tried it on myself, and I'm combination oily. And I really like this. Makeup sits beautifully on top of this. It's a bit on the richer side, but it sinks in really, really nice. So I'll definitely be using this again. I'm going to be starting off with eyes because they're going to be a bit heavy. So I'm going to be putting under eye patches on. And these are from KNC Beauty. These are the all natural retinol infused eye mask. I did not know they contained retinol, which is great. I really want to try them out. And I put them on the other way around. So completely, <laughs> completely ignore that because that is not how you put them on. I'm going to start with a bit of an eye base. This is the MAC Lay and Low Paint Pot. And I love this one more than Soft Ochre because this one has more of a peachy undertone. So it really does neutralize the eyelid much better than the Soft Ochre. Just saying. <laughs> so if you want to check out the MAC Paint Pots, definitely check out Lay and Low. And I'm going to be mainly putting that on the upper portion, so underneath the brows and fading it in, because I'm going to be going in with a black. And for the black base, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Tuxedo, which is the black. And I'm going to be doing a halo eye with this, so I'm putting it on the outer corners and the, not the completely inner corner, but... Guys, I don't know how to explain that. I don't know how to explain this. But more towards the inner part of the eye. And before that sets, because they do set, I'm going to be blending it and diffusing it with a brush. Now notice how it really blends away, so I'm going to be building that up slowly because I want that effect. I want it to layer and I want it to stick. Because again, the more you work in layers, the more the makeup is going to last all night long and it's going to look much better. And that way you really build up the intensity of the look and it gives it more dimension. So take your time with this, go in with a smaller brush for detail. That's what I'm going to do to get more on the lash line. And because I want the center of the lid free of color, I'm going to be taking a bit of my cellar water on a cotton bud or a Q-tip, and I'm just going to be running that on the center of the lid to remove any color. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be going in with the KKW Beauty Matte Smoke Eyeshadow Palette. I've been trying a bit of KKW. I placed a big order on Black Friday to just to try out a lot of their stuff uh, because I did order the contour sticks when they first came out, but I wasn't really happy with them. But a lot of the new stuff is really, really great. I'm very impressed with it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking that medium gray and just diffusing the edges of what I already did with the base. And I'm going to be starting off again with that medium gray and then building up the intensity. It's all about layering. It's all about creating that very diffuse gradient smoke effect. And I'm going to be taking the lighter color and just diffusing the edges. So it's all about blending. It's all about creating that diffused hazy effect. So going in with the different lighter colors and diffusing the edges. This time going on the center of the lid. 
And in my head, when I started to film this, I really thought I was going to do a full on black, intense, smoky eye. But then I started to think about it and I realized that the original smoky eye isn't really about just putting black everywhere. It's about creating that smoke effect, literally like a like a hazy smoke effect. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. So as you can see now, I'm going to be going in with the darkest gray in the palette and just intensifying the center of that gray. And a good trick is to take a big fluffy brush and dip it into that dark gray and just pat it on the lid. That way it diffuses the color gently and it does pack that intensity in at the same time. And again, going in with the lighter cream and diffusing the edges and highlighting underneath the brow bone. I'm going to be taking the KKW Liquid Concealer in the shade number 7. And I'm going to use that to create a center highlight on the lid. And just tapping it in to diffuse it gently. Because I don't want any harsh edges. And once I tap that in, I'm going to be going over it with a shadow and setting it. So taking that light cream shadow again, and I'm just going to be tapping exactly where I put that concealer and blended it out. And now you see that really nice spotlight on her lid. And this also reminds me of the look that Mario did on Kim on the Met Gala, and I really, really love that look too. So at this point, I'm just going to be going back and forth and blending all the edges, and really taking my time doing this. Because again, it's all about the blend. I'm going to be using a black, and for that, I'm going to take my House Laboratories palette in Fame, and this is the Glam Room number one palette. And just diffusing that black close to the lash line and on the center of that gray, just to create more of that intensity and depth. Now that I'm halfway done with the eyes, I'm going to be removing the eye masks. And I'm going to be priming her skin with the Benefit Professional Hydrate Primer just on the T zone and the cheeks. And I'm going to be tapping that in gently. For foundation, I'm going to be taking my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Aruba. And I'm going to be applying it in a very thin layer, starting from the jawline and working my way up as usual. And taking a bit down the neck. It's always important to go down the neck, especially if you're being photographed, because you never know uh, how the light is going to hit that makeup, even though it does match you really well. And I'm just going to be blending and stippling that foundation on lightly throughout the face. For concealer, I'm going to be trying another new product. This is the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer in Honey 2 T2 or 12. I thought it was 12, but it's T2. <laughs> and I was really, really impressed by this concealer. I've heard really great reviews, so I was excited to use it. And it just brightens the skin, it lifts the skin, and it doesn't feel very heavy. I've tried it on myself as well. And I'm going to be tapping and blending that in with a damp beauty blender. And as you can see, it's highlighting her skin beautifully. For cream contour, I'm going to be taking the KKW Beauty Cream Contour Sticks in Dark 2 and Tan 1. I'm going to be starting off with Dark 2 because I want to build the intensity and then layer the Tan 1 over it. And that way when I blend it, it's going to be seamless. And now I'm going in with Tan 1 over the edges of the dark contour. So when I start blending it in, they blend in seamlessly together and really mix in well with that foundation. And again, I always love to blend my creams with my foundation brush because there's still foundation on that brush and it's going to blend the product beautifully into the skin. Because that contour is going to blend in with the foundation that's already on the brush and you're not going to get any streaks and you're not going to get any lifting of the product. Because you know sometimes when you put creams on top of foundation, it kind of lifts. You're not going to get that if you use your foundation brush. And when it comes to the nose, I'm going to be blending up from the tip and on the sides. And when I come to the bridge, I'm just going to blend upwards as well. And stipple it on. For cream blush, I'm going to be trying the Iconic London Sheer Blush in Fresh Faced and Cheeky Coral. Now I will say this, I do not like how they performed on top of foundation. I've used these on myself, I've tried them out beforehand, and I really, really loved them. I thought they looked great. And, you, and they looked very skin-like, and you couldn't see that you were wearing blush. It just looked very healthy. But on top of foundation, it kind of just disappears, and it almost kind of lifts the foundation. You can kind of see it on her cheeks. 
But overall, I think this is a great product if you're not really wearing any foundation or very minimal makeup. For powder, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is a limited edition. I think it's a holiday compact and I love it. I love this powder. And this time I'm using it with a brush because I don't want to bake. I've already done her eyes, so I just want to set the foundation and concealer. And doing that with a brush gives you a much lighter uh, powder coverage, if that makes sense. And you get to control what areas you want to set and what areas you kind of want to keep a tiny bit dewy. For brows, I'm going to be taking my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number 2. And Rania has really nice light brows, and I don't want to make them any thicker. I don't want to make them crazy dark. I just want to enhance the shape. And I think her brows really, really suit her face. So I'm doing that all over, and I'm taking a bit of the 3.5 and just darkening the edges and adding in a bit of strokes. Again, I just want to enhance her natural brows and not really change much of the color or the shape. And I'm going to be setting everything with a bit of brow powder just to create more hair-like strokes. And I'm just dipping it into a taupe, a taupey gray. And just creating tiny hair-like strokes. This is going to add a bit more dimension without really darkening the brows in a heavy way. And setting everything with my Benefit 24-hour brow setter in clear. I've been really into this brow gel. I really like it. I'm going to be taking that mid-tone gray and I'm going to repeat what I did on the eyes on the lower lash line. So again, focusing it on the outer edges and the inner corners and leaving the center more free. And going back and forth with the different intensities of the grays and just making sure you have that really nice blend. And of course, as I do this, I'm going to go back to what I did on top and just add a few more touches. But it's all about creating that gradient smoke illusion. I'm going to be taking that cream shade and I'm putting it on the center of the lower lash line. And now the look really starts to come together and you get to see more of that illusion. And darkening the grays to make everything pop. For mascara, I'm going to be taking the Sephora Outrageous Curl Mascara and putting that on the top and bottom lashes. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Jouer Sunswept Bronzer Duo in medium to deep. And I love this bronzer. This is the first time that I use it and I found it very pigmented and soft and blendable and just added that really, really nice healthy color. So I'm going to be sweeping that on the cheeks, the forehead, a bit on the nose, so basically bronzing her instead of really contouring. And for blush, I'm going to be taking the KKW and Mario collaboration. This is the very graceful blush. And I'm going to be putting that very lightly on the apples and the cheekbones. Very softly. I don't want a harsh blush color for this look. For lips, I'm going to be going in with the Pat McGrath Contour Lip Pencil. And I'm going to be lining her lips and filling them in completely. And this is a very beautiful caramel nude. And for lip pencil, I'm going to be taking the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Bad Girl. And I'm putting that over the lips and the lip liner very softly. Now, honestly, I have to say my one regret is that I didn't put individual lashes, but I don't know if it would have covered a lot of the look. I don't know, but I kind of still think about it. <laughs> and for gloss, I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth Gloss Balm. And putting that all over the lips. And I really wanted that contrast of the full matte eyes and the very glossy lips. It was very kind of 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> and the Fenty glosses are my all-time favorite. For highlighter, I'm taking the NARS Star Scene Cheek Palette and taking the highlight shade and I'm putting that over the cheekbones and the cheeks. It's such a beautiful, luminous, soft focus glow, but it's still very intense. And it just looks so beautiful. So I'm putting that on the tops of the cheeks and a bit on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and a tiny bit on the chin. And taking that with a small brush, I'm going to be putting it on the inner corners of the eyes and a bit on the lower lash line, tiny, tiny bit, just on the inner corners. And to set everything in place, I'm taking the Guerlain Perure Gold Mist. 
and spraying that all over the face. I thought we'd do a bit of a body glow moment, so I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Body Lava in Who Needs Clothes. And I'm going to be putting that on a kabuki brush and applying it on the collarbones and the shoulders. And I'm going to be blending it in. Now if you use a lot of this, it can be sticky, so use very little and blend it all over your body. And it smells so good. Alright, so that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the last video of 2019. It's been an amazing year. And thank you guys for all the support. Really, it means a lot to me. And I hope you try this. If you do, tag me. Let me know. Send me a message. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment down below. And yeah, have a great New Year's, guys.